An all-civilian crew of explorers, though, could make history in space this week. They are scheduled to blast off tomorrow on a six-day SpaceX mission that will take them into a record orbit above the Earth, more than three times higher than the ISS. They'll also attempt the first-ever commercial spacewalk. Christian Benavides has more on this ambitious Polaris Dawn mission from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. 41-year-old billionaire entrepreneur Jared Isaacman is leading the Polaris Dawn crew of four civilian astronauts as they attempt to do something that's never been done before, the first commercial spacewalk. I grew up a time to see humans walk on the moon. I really would like my daughters to, you know, see humans walking on Mars uh, someday. In 2021, he financed and led Inspiration4, the first all-civilian mission to orbit the Earth. Now Isaacman and his crewmates, retired fighter pilot Scott Poteet, and two SpaceX employees, Anna Menon and Sarah Gillis, are ready to make history. It's been an absolute amazing journey training for this mission, and uh, we just can't wait to go to space. The first commercial spacewalk would happen about 435 miles above Earth. The Dragon capsule will vent down to the vacuum of space, and Isaacman and Gillis will take turns floating through the open hatch for about 15 minutes apiece. While the crew has been undergoing extensive training for something that has never been done before, everybody agrees this is risky business. Flying people is the most severe thing that we do at SpaceX. We try to design the mission and then we think about anything that could go wrong and make sure we have a plan to keep humans safe. The explorers will wear special spacesuits designed to withstand extreme temperatures. Oh, it has to have all the means to sustain life. When it's pressurized up, what you're seeing there is a mini spaceship. Through years of planning, dreaming and training, the Polaris Dawn crew is confident their mission will mark the dawn of a new age in space exploration. Christian Benavides, CBS News, at the Kennedy Space Center. And the Polaris Dawn mission is set to blast off at 2.38 tomorrow morning, so pretty much overnight.